this video we will discuss about the restriction enzyme and it is very important to know about the restriction enzyme in a molecular biology when scientists begin studying the way that bacterial cells protect themselves from different types of viral agents they realize that inside the bacterial cell there are some special digestive proteins that is restriction enzyme or restriction endonuclease these restriction enzymes and restriction endonuclease actually cleaves or cut DNA molecule at a particular place after recognizing a specific sequence of DNA. You can also think of restriction enzyme as a molecular knife in molecular biology and we can use restriction enzyme to cut a single gene from a larger piece of DNA. So, the restriction enzyme, it's an enzyme which is usually synthesized by bacteria and it selectively cuts up DNA, whether it is single or double-stranded DNA, in a process called restriction. So, it is an enzyme usually synthesized by bacteria that selectively cut up DNA, whether it is single-stranded or double-stranded, in a process known as restriction. And over 3,000 restriction enzymes have been studied in detail. These restriction enzymes studied by Erber and Messelson and work type first restriction enzyme, which was a study by Erber and Messelson. Arber was awarded the Nobel Prize also in 1978 for their work in discovery of restriction enzyme. So the restriction enzyme studied studied by Arber and Messelson. And Arbor awarded the Nobel Prize in 1978 for their work in discovery of restriction enzyme. So the restriction enzyme that is studied by Arbor and Messenzel were type first restriction enzyme which cleave DNA away from restriction sites. So they studied restriction enzyme first. Restriction enzyme type first. The other scientists, Hamilton O. Smith, Kelly, and Bill Cox, actually isolated and characterized the first type 2 restriction enzyme, HIMD2, from bacterium Haemophilus influenzae. So, Hamilton O. Smith, oh, Smith, Kelly, and Bill Cox. isolated and characterized the first type to restriction enzyme. Which is hint D2. And it was isolated from a bacterium Haemophilus influenzae. At the basis of the structure, these restriction enzymes, they are classified into four types. Type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. So, in order to cut that DNA, these restriction enzymes, whether it is 1, 2, 3, 4, make two incisions, once through each sugar phosphate backbone of DNA double helix. And type 2 restriction enzyme is a class of restriction enzyme that is only used in laboratories for routine DNA analysis and gene cloning. Because type 2 restriction enzymes, they cut DNA at defined position close to or within their recognition sequences. So type 2 restriction enzyme. are heavily used in recombinant DNA technology.
and they are only class which is used in laboratories for routine DNA analysis and for gene cloning. Now, restriction enzyme, they actually recognize a specific sequence of nucleotides and produce a double-stranded cut in the DNA. And these recognition sequences can also be classified by number of bases in its recognition site, usually between four to eight bases. Now, these restriction enzymes belong to a larger class of enzyme called nucleases, and these are of two kinds, exonuclease and endonuclease. Exonuclease, they actually remove nucleotides from ends of the DNA helix, but the endonuclease may cut at specific positions within DNA. So, this restriction enzymes. belong to larger class of enzymes known as nucleases okay and they are of two kinds which is exo and endo nucleases are of two types exo and endo Exonuclease remove nucleotides from the ends of the DNA and endonuclease may cut at specific positions within DNA. Okay, some restriction enzymes recognize a specific sequence of nucleotides and produce a double-stranded cut in the DNA. And these recognition sequences can also be classified by number of bases in its recognition site, usually between four to eight bases. And many of them are palindromic, meaning the base sequence reads the same backwards and forwards. And these restriction enzymes, actually, many of the restriction enzymes, they recognize the palindromic sequence of the DNA. For example, we are going this way, we get TTCGAA. And if we go this side, we get TTCGAA. It meaning the base sequence has reached the same backwards and forwards. If we take an example of EcoR1 digestion, then it produces a sticky ants. Okay, so it's an example of EcoR1 and it produces a sticky ants. Sticky ants are named so because they form hydrogen bonds with their complementary cut counterparts. And this stickiness of the ants facilitates the action of enzyme which is known as DNA ligase. Now, if we take an example of SMAO1 restriction enzyme cleavage, then it produces the blunt ants. We take an example of SMAO1 restriction enzyme. It cleaves the DNA and produces the blunt ants like this. Okay. So different restriction enzyme that recognize the same sequences, they are known as neoschizomers and different enzyme that recognizes and cleave in the same location, they are known as isoschizomers. And this each restriction enzyme, whether it is a small one, whether it is eco or one, it is named after the bacterium from where it was isolated. And this is the uh, this one is the eco R1. Eco stands for the E. coli. And R is the name of the stain. And one is the order in which the enzymes were isolated from the E. coli. So this is all about the restriction enzymes. And there are two types of restriction enzymes. Which is known as iso. Isosomers, isoschizomers, and the next is neoschizomers. Okay, so the different restriction enzyme that recognizes the same sequences, they are known as neoschizomers. But different enzyme that recognize and cleave in the same location, they are known as isoschizomers. Okay. 
So this is all about the restriction enzyme. This restriction system is originally evolved as a defense mechanism against foreign DNA and it was first studied by Erber and Misselson and the restriction enzyme which was studied by Erber and Misselson were type first restriction enzyme which cleave DNA away from restriction site. And the other scientists named Smith, Kelly and Wilcox, they characterized and isolated the first type 2 restriction enzyme which is in the D2 from a bacterium Haemophilus influenzae. And as we know the type 2 restriction enzyme they are heavily used in recombinant DNA techniques because they cut DNA at defined position close to or within their recognition sequences and they are only the class which is used in laboratories for the routine DNA analysis and gene cloning. And these restriction sites varies to produce blunt and sticky ants. Okay. And the different restriction enzymes that recognizing the same sequences, they are known as neoschizomers, and the different enzyme that recognizes and cleaves the same location in a DNA it is known as isoschizomers. Okay. And as we have studied that these, these restriction enzymes belong to larger class of enzyme which is known as nucleases and they are of two kinds, endo and exo. Endonucleases, they may cut at specific positions within DNA, but the exonuclease, they remove nucleotides from the ends of the DNA helix. Okay, so this is all about the restriction enzyme.